Ben Simmons any chance as the Nets progress in the playoffs that he could play? I guess I, you know, I don't know what can you realistically expect from him. And the last time we saw him playing a game that was June twentieth, and that was, you know, the last game of Philadelphia couldn't make free throws. He was fifteen of forty five from the free throw line in that series. So now, after not playing with the Australian national team, not playing any preseason games, regular season game, playing tournament game, you might miss games one and two of this series. You're just going to walk into a playoff series in high pressure situations. What's is he going to be in the game in the fourth quarter? And what's going to happen when you get when they're in the penalty? How if you're Ime Adoka, if it's the Celtics that he does play against, how do you not foul the guy? Send him to the free throw line. That's been a big thing. His confidence. The last time we saw him play, his confidence was shot. And there was a story out there somewhere where somebody said, Oh, his confidence is sky high. How would we know that? How are you gauging that? He hasn't played a basketball game since last June 20th. And the last time we saw him play, A, he wouldn't shoot. And when he was at the free throw line, he couldn't make a free throw. And I wonder about this, that in other sports, you know, baseball, you've had guys who can't throw the ball back to the pitcher. You've had pitchers who can't throw the ball over the plate. You have Steve Sachs or Chuck Knobloch who can't throw it from second to first. You know, we look at that and we go, okay, golfers, uh, Kevin Na would get at the top of his swing and he didn't know how to get back down to the ball. Um, yips, you know, guys who were putting. Now, you know, we don't factor that in with basketball players, that they get to the free throw line and they have, they freeze up. They don't know how to do something. It feels like that's been left unexplored, whereas we've seen a lot more instances, or at least we've unearthed those in golf and baseball. Why is that? The- no, I, I think that's a great call. And I also think how many times have we seen guys, they'll show them in warm-ups or they'll show them on the practice court and they're knocking down free throws. Giannis was like that, if you remember, yeah. uh, last year. And then, of course, he figured his whole situation out during the playoffs, which was pretty extraordinary the way that he did that. But I, th- I think that's a very fair point. I think maybe you feel isolated out there at the free throw line. And to your point, you kind of get the yips and you cannot make free throws. And you know, Shaq was a guy that was a poor free throw shooter. I remember the day that he got, um, when it was announced he was going to the Hall of Fame and they asked him about free throw shooting and about shooting underhand. He said, I'd rather miss all of them than shoot them underhand. But he also used to bring up the point, he they didn't really lose big games because he missed free throws. But you could kind of relate a lot of the free throws that Ben Simmons missed last year against Atlanta to them blowing that game, you know, game five where they had the big lead and then obviously game seven when they had a big lead. Mason Plumley is right-handed. He's shooting free throws left-handed. Yeah. If you go from right-handed to left-handed, Frank, go all the way to underhand. I agree. Right? You have a better chance of making underhand free throws. And it, you can't say, well, I don't want to be embarrassed. No, you're already embarrassed. You make less than 40% of your free throws. Yeah. Well, what you need to do is why don't you get Rick Barry on and oh all you have to God. do is ask him about it and then sit back and he'll go on for about 15, <laughs> 20 minutes. And he's going to tell you how he would sell it. Oh, I know. Oh, he's going to solve every. I mean, Rick Barry's a piece of work. You know how long he'll go on for. But there is something to be said for that. And it's also a vanity thing. I don't want to be the guy that everyone's making fun of shooting free throws, but yet. Nobody th- makes it, fun of you if you make them, Frank. I agree. I don't I don't get it. And it's a big, and you're losing games because of it. That That's the thing that gets you. 